What's the upside potential of gene therapy? How much could we fix with it? And so could we live like hundreds of years? And what are the challenges with making gene therapies more widely available or accessible? Well, I think absolutely. Like the th if you look at like just the history of medicine and the trajectory of medicine, it has always been about having people live longer, healthier lives. Um, you can, it, whether that's taking baby aspirins to make sure you're okay with your heart, whether that's taking certain types of heart medication, liver medication, whether it's in our case, just going straight for the genes and potentially fixing some of the problem genes or adding beneficial genes to essentially increase one's longevity, increase one's uh, health span, as it were, you know, making sure you're not just living to 120 old and decrepit, but no, you're actually still functional and you're actually in good health. That way, if anything else happens, you're still, you know, be able to bounce back from it. And I think that's the trajectory of medicine at the end of the day. Um, people, in my view, you know, we're, if we were to compare this to electricity, gene therapy right now is about where Ben Franklin was flying the kite. We haven't got to the iPhone yet. So we have a long way to go, but eventually, you know, we're organisms consisting of billions of codes, you know, all written in A, T, G, and C. And being able to write that code, being able to change that code, you know, no longer are we kind of just the, you know, a figure in the landscape, as it were, just to quote somebody, but, you know, an active participant in the landscape, you know, directing our own lives and overall the life and health of our, you know, our community, our species, our family, you know, by being able to go in and change ourselves for the better.